In our lesson today, we look at the relationship between heat of solution, lattice energy, and hydration energy. Objectives of the lesson include divination of lattice and hydration energy, examples of equations in lattice energy and hydration energy. And then you look at the, how heat of solution relates to lattice and hydration energy. You look at the uh, energy circle. We look at an energy level diagram and then worked examples. So we begin by looking at definition of lattice energy. Lattice is the energy change that occurs when one mole of ionic compound is formed from its constituent ions in the gaseous state. Example sodium ion gas plus chloride ion gas arrow sodium chloride solid. And the is negative 776 kilojoule per mole. Now we are giving a negative sign because when a bond is formed, heat is released, hence entalpy the change is negative. Note that if the equation above is reversed so that the bond is broken and the ionic compound to form gaseous ions, the lattice energy becomes positive. Example, read. Example, sodium chloride solid, arrow, sodium ion gas plus chloride ion gas, end of lattice is positive 776 kilojoule per mole. Now it becomes positive because a bond is broken, and when a bond is broken, heat is absorbed. Hydration energy, divination, is an energy change that occurs when one mole of a gaseous ions becomes hydrated. Now, hydration process involves formation of new bonds between polar water molecules and the ions. Note that this process is always exothermic because during bond formation, heat is released. Example, sodium ion gas, water, sodium ion aqueous, enthalpy vibration, negative 390 kilojoule per mole, chloride ion gas, RO, water, Chloride ion aqueous, enthalpy of hydration, negative 384 kilojoule per mole. So the relationship between heat of solution, lattice, and hydration energy is heat of solution is equal to lattice energy plus hydration energy. And this enthalpy of solution is equal to enthalpy of lattice plus enthalpy of hydration. So the information above can be shown in an energy circle. Or I use an example of XY solid, whereby XY solid, when added in water, it forms X plus it forms X plus ion aqueous plus Y negative aqueous. That is called enthalpy of solution. When XY solid is broken down form gases ions it, it forms x plus gas plus y negative y n negative gas that is we have said that when a bond is broken a ionic compound enthalpy of lattice is positive then the x the x n plus gas becomes hydrated by addition of water to form x n plus aqueous then then y n negative gas arrow to y n negative aqueous between from the relationship where i said enthalpy of solution equals to enthalpy of lattice plus enthalpy of hydration we note that the enthalpy of solution can either be positive or negative depending on the value of lattice and hydration energy now, enthalpy of solution is positive when the enthalpy of lattice is greater than enthalpy of hydration. Because enthalpy of lattice is positive because you break the bond, and the enthalpy of hydration is negative because you're forming bonds. Now, the enthalpy of solution is negative if the enthalpy of lattice is less than enthalpy of hydration. So next we look at how to draw energy level diagrams when enthalpy of solution is either negative or positive. 
I use an example of an XY solid. So uh, the first energy level diagram is when enthalpy of solution is positive. So the energy level diagram will be drawn as shown below. So we start by first of all drawing the lattice energy and the lattice we say is positive. So when it's positive, the arrow goes up. So we start by x, y solid. Arrow goes up because it is endothermic. You form x, n plus gas plus y, n negative gas. Now, because you have said the enthalpy of lattice is bigger than the enthalpy of hydration, then the arrow goes down for high enthalpy of hydration because it's negative. So you get x n plus negative plus y n negative gas. So the arrow goes down, it forms x n plus aqueous plus y negative aqueous. Note that the value of the lattice energy must be bigger than the value of the hydrogen energy. So the remaining arrow will go up, and this is the end of the solution. So from x y solid, the arrow goes up to x n plus aqueous plus y negative aqueous. Now next we draw the energy level diagram when the enthalpy of solution is negative. Again we use an example of an x y solid. So I said the enthalpy of solution is negative when the hydration is bigger than the lattice energy. So the lattice energy x y solid breaks down that is, it is absorbed, so it becomes positive, the arrow goes up. So you form X plus gas plus Y negative gas. Then the hydration energy is negative, so the arrow goes down. And the value has to be bigger than the lattice energy. So the X N plus gas plus Y N negative gas arrow down forms x n plus aqueous plus y n negative aqueous then the enthalpy so the enthalpy of solution is negative the arrow goes down so we start from x y solids arrow down to x n plus aqueous plus y n negative aqueous what example use the information below to calculate the heat of solution of sodium bromide. Sodium ion gas plus bromide ion gas arrow sodium bromide solid. Enthalpy is negative 743 kilojoule per mole. Sodium ion gas to sodium ion aqueous negative 390 kilojoule per mole. Bromide ion gas arrow bromide ion aqueous enthalpy negative 351 kilojoule per mole. So the energy circle will be as follows. So we have to reverse the equation for the enthalpy of lattice. So you say sodium bromide solid, arrow, sodium ion gas plus bromide ion gas. So the enthalpy of lattice becomes positive 743 kilojoule per mole. Then is you draw the enthalpy of solution, sodium bromide solid, arrow, sodium ion aqueous plus bromide ion aqueous then you draw the hydration that is sodium ion gas to sodium ion aqueous bromide ion gas to bromide ion aqueous the heat of solution is equal to enthalpy of lattice plus enthalpy of hydration which is equal to plus 743 plus negative 390 plus negative 351 that gives us plus 743 plus negative 741 which is equal to plus 2 kilojoule per mole Planners, that is the end of the lesson the next lesson we look at fuels